rather be doing anything else for your birthday? So this is the test setup. Got two pieces of wood, four by four or so, with our plate sitting on there. There's nothing underneath. Okay, it's now the next day and the weather's nice and sunny again. So we're going to look at the plates from the test yesterday. This is the Kaboom plate. And there is how much bend there is in it. This is the one that's the least deformed. Here are the sides. You can see how much of a kink there is. Next up is the Tannerite plate. This one is very similar, but it has a little bit more of a pointed bulge in the middle. And uh, it's a little bit more kinked on the sides here. There's definitely a well, slightly noticeable difference in how bent it is. Next up is the shockwave plate. Now this one, you can tell, if you look at them from above, you can tell the shockwave one, well, I can tell anyway, that it's uh, bent more because it's narrower than the other ones. And if we, oops, sorry about that. So if we put it like this, we can see that, yes, it's definitely more bent. And it also has that bulge in the middle. Interesting bulge in the middle, which the uh, Kaboom one doesn't have. Now, mind you, that could be... Uh, simply due to the fact that the Kaboom is in a different type of bag, whereas all of these are in cylindrical jars. As far as that bump goes, that's in the middle there. Okay, next up is... What is next? Sure Shot Rimfire. No, Sure Shot Rifle, sorry. This is the one down target, and this one is bent a fair bit more than the other ones. You can throw that one to the shockwave. There's a sure shot. There's a shockwave. Actually, this is a really good way of comparing them. It probably works as well as anything else. Um, see, this one's actually kind of bent on the end here. And it's pretty severely kinked on the sides. So let's go to the next one. Sure shot rimfire. And again, I'll give you the view like this. That is Sure Shot Rifle. That's Sure Shot Rimfire. Now the Rimfire plate doesn't have as much of a of pointy bulge on it, but uh, it is definitely bent more than the other ones, and the edge is very kinked on this one, as you can see. So pretty similar to the SureShot rifle targets. Now SureShot claims that this is equivalent to two pounds of this, but I don't quite believe that. So the last one's the Griffin Energetics Thundershot plate. And it's the only one where there's actually a hole in the 
plate. This is 10 gauge mild steel. And I tried to pick a thickness that I thought would be appropriate. And this seems to have worked quite well to showcase the difference between them. But, yeah, this plate's just caved in. So there you have it. 